Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So here, integrate this, and um, and as a clue, as a clue, um, use integration by paths, and uh, and maybe break this up as uh, a sine x sine x. Well, anyway, do whatever you want. Integrate this. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, visualize this thing here as uh, as this. As uh, as this, so so uh, so set u as uh, as this and set v prime as also this. So uh, so if u equals sine of x, then uh, then u prime, well you differentiate it to give you this, and then if v prime equals uh, sine of x, then you would integrate it to give you the normal v. So now blindly fo follow the instruction here. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So that would be minus sine x uh, cos x, and then minus minus the integral of um, it's saying get u prime times v. It's saying get u prime times v. So that would be minus cos squared of x, and then you've got your your dx here. So uh, so this whole thing here would then become Will then become this. Will then become. Uh, will then become this. Okay. So um, so now uh, uh, ne this this negative one here is a constant, so you can take it out. So then it will then become this. And uh, and now lo looking at this, um, you you are currently you are currently here at the moment. If you look at this, try try to get this in terms of the original, in terms of this. Um, so, so realize that uh, one realize that one equals uh, uh, sine squared uh, plus cos squared. Um, currently, you've currently you've got this thing here. You see, rearrange it to uh, to give you this, to give you this. And now now you can see that. Um, hang on. So you've got this thing here, sine squared dx. Now you can see that. Uh, well, hang on. Let's let's um, let's let's continue from here. So from here, from here, that will then take you to uh, to here. So break this up, and then uh, and then now integrate this bit because it's quite straightforward. So that so integrating that will then give you this x here. Now the the the, uh, the good thing now is that this is exactly the same as this. Is exactly the same as this. So let's let's call this. Hang on. Let's call this. Let's call this capital I. So, so you've got capital I equals, uh, and then here you've also got capital I. So, because, well, well, once you're once you're here, hang on, let's go back to here. Once you are here, you want to rewrite this course in terms of of this thing here, which was sine squared. So, try and try to get this to be in terms of the original. Well, if you look back down to here. You, you, you can see that you can see that this is exactly the same as the original, so that will then become this. So let's let's call this capital I. So that's capital I. This thing here is capital I, and now you've got exactly the same, exactly the same. Then add I equally to both sides. That will then give you this, and then oh, but by the way, we uh, when we're here, if you integrate it, you should get a uh, a constant. But let's just leave this constant to the end. Okay, so so from here, add i equally to both sides. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then now now divide both sides by two. So uh, so capital I equals this thing here, and then now we can stick in our constant. Okay, so overall the answer is this.